Three times Fed denied yield curve recession signals and was wrong. The litany of dismissive remarks comes amid concerns from market participants that an economic downturn would force the central bank's hands and push it to cut interest rates to end the current hiking cycle. In recent weeks, the 10-year Treasury yield fell below the three-month bill on March 22, its first such inversion since 2017. An inversion by that, with economic data still solid, there's still reason to think the brief inversion may not flash warnings for the US economy this time around, but US central bankers would do well to remind themselves of times when the Fed ignored the oracular powers of the bond market indicator. Here are a few of the before the 1990-91 recession. Before the 1990s, the Fed interpreted the yield curve inversion as a reflection of subdued inflationary pressures, allowing long-dated yields to drift closer to their shorter-term peers. This lowered the threat, thinking that higher prices were ultimately the trigger for monetary tightening, and thus recessions, the muted inflation pressures throughout the 1980s suggested to central bank policymakers that it had yet to reach the occasion where it was pushing policy into restrictive territory. The yield curve either in the United States or elsewhere has not been a reliable indicator of future inflation. Indeed, the before implosion of the dot-com bubble. This time the Fed and Treasury officials attributed the inversion and the fall in long-dated yields to the balanced budgets, and the occasional fiscal surplus, under President Bill Clinton's administration. In their minds, I think the changed supply outlook for Treasuries has introduced a fair amount of noise into the Treasury yield curve, from Peter Fisher, manager of the Fed's system open market account, at the March 2000 Fed meeting. Before the 2007-09 recession Former Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke in a speech at the Economic Club of New York in 2006 said bond buying from foreign investors may have been responsible for pushing long-dated Treasury yields lower as part of his savings glut thesis. That is, first, in previous episodes when an inverted yield curve was followed by recession, the level of interest rates was quite high, consistent with considerable financial restraint. This time, but echoing the remarks of Bernanke, New York Fed President John Williams in 2018 said quantitative easing by major central banks, including the European Central Bank and the Bank of Japan, may have flattened the yield curve slope, narrowing the spread between short-dated and long-dated yields. In thinking about the historical experience of the yield curve, we do have to be cautious about applying it to this current situation. We and other central Smoking no cooking the hot pot. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park pot.